Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Negi Nafisi and I'm working at Linkit as an Out Systems developer since 2019. Today I will tell you how I started with Out Systems and I want to also tell you what is Out Systems, why you should start with it today, what are the possibilities inside it, how you can be a good Out Systems developer and how to start with it. As I've already mentioned, my name is Negi Nafisi and I live since 2010 in the Netherlands. In 2013, I started with uh, learning the Dutch language and after that I went to the high school for two years. At the end of the high school, I had to choose for a direction at the university. So as I always, I'm, I'm always looking for uh, challenges like making this video. I chose for software engineering for the university. Everything started at the third year of my study when I had to put a lot of effort in my study and I got tired and disappointed and I was not sure anymore if I had chosen the good study. So I landed in a burnout, but I wanted to do my best. So I got to the therapy and I kept doing my best and handle everything in a good way again. And in the second semester of that year, I had to follow an internship inside a company to, that was a part of my study. So I made a LinkedIn post and I said that I want to do some internship with .NET. After a few days, I have gotten a lot of messages from uh, different companies. And one of the messages was from Omid Daruti and he told me that they maybe have a place at their company for an intern to follow the internship. So he told me also something about rapid application development and .NET and that's why I got curious and I made the first appointment with uh, Remco de Kinga. In that appointment I heard many times out systems and I got confused because I was at Linkit and I wanted to do something with .NET. So I couldn't understand what is out systems exactly. And after the appointment I got in my car and I looked up to out systems and I saw a video about it. This was exactly what I dreamed about, like making a software in a really easy way and where do you don't have to worry about semicolons. And also drag and drop an if statement and make a really short line of the code logic to make it work. As you can see here, I can choose an if statement from the left side of the screen or use the AI assisted development to put an if statement right onto the line. Here, the condition will be if name is Negin, it's a string in this case. If name is Negin, I put an assign right next to it and pull the true line from the if to assign. So if the name is Negin, I want to change the name to Negin Nafisi. I choose for name, it's a string. So name will be Negi Nafisi. And now, because it's just for the demo, I choose an end to just end the logic and pull the line from name to end. The company was also very nice with friendly people. So I really knew I want to follow my internship at Linkit and without systems. So I called Omi Taruti again and I told him that I want to make a new appointment to plan everything and plan the first day of my uh, internship at Linkit. Before I tell you about my approach and how I started with OutSystems, I want to tell you what is OutSystems exactly. So OutSystems is a low-code platform that makes it possible to make an application in an easy and fast way. And that's why it's also called Rapid Application Development. Low-code means making application uh, with graphical user interfaces and uh, configuration instead of traditional hand-coded uh, programs. Low-code is also not uh, the same as no-code because if there is a, in, a, in any case there is some limitation, you can just extend your application with uh, code. And in case of other systems, it's with .NET, C Sharp or JavaScript code. So with that said, there is an example I always use to describe the difference between OutSystems and other programming languages. 
If you think about an automatic car and, and a manual car, both do the same. You can drive with it, you can go to work, go home, and it's just the same. Uh, but in the manual car you have to pay attention to handle the car, you have to pay attention to the road and you have to pay attention to shift at the right moment. In an automatic car, however, you can pay more attention to the road because shifting is not an issue anymore. The car does it for you, so the only thing for you is to drive safely. And that is exactly what OutSystems is doing for us. OutSystems makes the code, generates the code for you, and the only thing you have to do is make a good logic, care about the security, and about the performance of your application. So, now you know what is OutSystems, I can tell you about the possibilities inside it. OutSystems provides developing for web application, mobile application for both iOS and Android, uh, for reactive web development and also progressive web applications. And if you know how to make a web application without systems, it's not that difficult anymore to learn how to uh, develop something for mobile application or reactive because the basics are the same. OutSystems is always up to date with the newest technologies and there are a lot of uh, out of the box possibilities with it, functionalities, and you can find these functionalities or inside OutSystems itself or on the forge of OutSystems. The Forge is a place where OutSystems and other developers can use to uh, put their uh, functionalities that they made and what they think it's uh, really useful for other people. So the only thing you have to do is to download a Forge component and install it on your environment and implement it in a good way to be able to use the functionality. For example, if you want to be able to make a picture inside your application, you can just go to the Forge and uh, look for it. And if someone made it already, you can download the Forge component, install it on your environment, and implement it in the right way to be able to make pictures in your application. One more thing OutSystems provides is the one-click publish functionality. And that means if you change something in your code, and you want to publish it, OutSystems will check the logic for you and if there are errors, you will get a notification and you won't be able to publish your application at that point. So, again, you don't have to care about how you made the, made the code, made the logic, OutSystems just checks it for you and gives you a warning if it's not good. Here we have the one click publish. You see the green button on the top of the screen. I choose for an if statement on the line and I don't set the condition right now because I want to check the errors I see under the bottom. Yeah, I have two errors, two logs. Condition must be set and if must have two, going uh, uh, two outgoing connectors. You see also the green button is also turned to red. So here I want to choose uh, the really easy one if true is true, the other lock is one more outgoing connector because I have false and I need the true connector. I put an end at the right of it and pull the true line to this. And you see everything is became uh, green again. The module is also valid. I uh, push the green button, the one click publish. And we see that it's uploading, storing a new version into my environment. The code is also generating and compiling. Also, the database model is updating. It's the deploying stage. Almost done. And yes, it's done. So that's it for the one click publish. Beside this, OutSystems also provides four main tools where you can make an application and maintain it and also have uh, different environments to put your application on. You can also extend your code with .NET code uh, with one of these tools. The first tools, uh, tool is called uh, Service Studio. In Surface Studio, you have to make the application, you can 
just adjust it, make changes and publish it. Then you have the integration studio. In the integration studio, uh, you can make some .NET code and extend your application with that code. Service Center is a place where you can monitor your application and also see if there are any errors from the users or from the application. And then you have the lifetime where you can maintain your environment, like maybe you have the development environment and test environment and you can just publish your application from one to the other. So why you should start without systems? The simple answer to it is because you are awesome. And beside that, there is also a high demand for uh, ad systems developers at this time and ad systems and rapid application development is growing very fast. It's also good for people who want to give a boost to their career or change it maybe. The main thing is you don't have to worry about semicolon anymore. <laughs> so if you want to start without systems today, you can become a full stack developer, you can become front end developer, back end developer. UX UI designer, a support engineer, and many more. So there are a lot of possibilities if you want to start today. What do you need to become a, become a good ad systems developer? If you want to become an ad systems developer, it's good to know something about uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, .NET, C Sharp, MS SQL, or Oracle. But you don't have to master this all. And if you don't know these at all, that's also not a problem because you can learn these subjects inside your journey with ad systems. And also if you have a strong feeling for UX UI, you can start with ad systems today. And of course, some of communication skills are important as well, like because you are working with a client very uh, closely and it's good to communicate in a good way with them. Be eager to learn because ad systems is changing as the development world is changing. So it's good to be eager to learn. And if you can do that, if you are uh, someone who wants to learn new stuff, then you can become a good ad systems developer for sure. Last but not least, how to start with ad systems. So the first thing you can do is make an ad systems uh, account on the ad systems website and make a personal environment. You can see the URL on the presentation and it's for free. Personal environment is a place where you can make applications. You can connect it actually with your uh, service studio and make applications there and deploy it to your environment. You can also make test users and users to check your application and test it. And you can make a lot of uh, good stuff with it. Take a look whenever you have time and start playing with it. You can also find some instructions for beginners on the URL in the presentation. If you have any question, you can ask it on the Out Systems forum. It's very active. You can just ask your questions and the reactions are very fast. You can also get reactions from the MVPs. And you can also go to the meetups. There are a lot of meetups in the Netherlands and also virtual meetups right now where you can attend and ask your questions. After that, if you are ready, you can attend an exam. Based on my own experience, it's better to start with a web development certificate because if you know web, how to make a web application without systems, it's not very difficult anymore to make a switch to mobile applications and reactive applications. At last, be active, go to the meetups, go uh, to the events of OutSystems. There is a really big event once a year and you can attend it it's called next step and this year it's virtual and for free so don't wait just go and join it and if you have any questions right now you can ask it in the live q a if you are watching the live video of course and if not you can also send me an email my email is mentioned in the presentation thank you for watching